Hello everyone. These earrings are so big. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share this to my beauty page, Beauty by Rhea Hope. And then I'm going to post in the comments my shopping link. So everything you're about to see is available available for purchase right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Um, everything has a little bit of guarantee. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can return it for your money back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and share this on my pages. So when you do pop on, say hello, and then make sure that you um, you click that share button in the bottom left-hand corner. It helps me out so much. And we'll get started. So I'm kind of doing like a holiday inspired look, but it's not gonna be like your traditional holiday, I guess. I mean, maybe it would be. <laughs> the eye definitely will be, but the lip, not so much. But I felt like doing a pink lip, like a baby pink lip. Uh, 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 okay, shared a page. So I'm gonna share it to like my blog page, which is called Raya Hope. And then I'm gonna share it to my beauty page, which is called Beauty by Raya Hope. So make sure that you've gone through all of those. Click join, clicked like. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I just did the new updates. Now I can see all the new emoji emojis. That one's cute. Thank you. Hi, Zoe. Awesome. I know, I love Zoe. I actually have to do that today. <laughs> My brushes are a little dirty. Hi, hi. All right, so we we're just waiting for a few more minutes for friends to pop on. Okay, so I live in San Diego, California. So you guys know the fires are like crazy. I'm safe. Thank you guys for checking in on me. We are like an hour and a half away from like the nearest fire. But um, California is like so dry, like especially San Diego too. It's so dry. So my skin, I naturally have oily skin. My skin lately is just like screaming for moisture. So when I am feeling super oily, the coverage that I'm going to do today is the BB Flawless mixed with, or not mix, I'm actually not going to mix today. <laughs> The BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer, and then I'm going to use a Skin Perfecting Concealer. I love these two together because they give you amazing moisture for your skin. And together, topped with the pressed powder, gives you full coverage. So we still can get full coverage if you're using the BB Flawless. Um, I just really love it and recommend it for like the winter time when it's super dry out. Um, or if you just naturally have super dry skin, that's a great option for you. Uh, another thing that I really love about the BB Flawless is it's very easy to blend out and to match, um, to match with just because it kind of like, it doesn't oxidize, but it changes, um, and like matches up if that makes sense. It's like a smart foundation. <laughs> Um, it's really kind of comparable to the CC cream by it cosmetics, except ours isn't going to be, um, as thick, I guess. And I, I, to me, the CC cream is kind of drying on my skin a little bit. I mean, I really like it cause I have, um, oily skin, but if you have dry skin, like that's not going to be something that you're going to love. Um, the BB flawless, however, by unique, which is what we're going to be using today, super hydrating and, uh, it gives you great coverage. Hello, thank you. These are from Lavender Blue. She has an Instagram and an Etsy site, uh, all one word, Lavender Blue. And you can use my code Rhea20 to save some money on her website. This ring is from her also, and so is this ring. <laughs> I love her shop. And then this necklace is from the Southern Classy. On Instagram, she's the Southern Classy LA. She also has an uh, Etsy site. I don't have a coupon code for her, however. Okay, so right now I'm going in with the color corrector. This is by Maybelline. I'll give you guys the direct link to it after I get off. So make sure you comment something um, to be able to be alerted when I do comment the full product list that I'm using. So I love using this color corrector first because it's very brightening. It's going to help to bring up this under eye area and it's gonna help to cancel out the blue and purple undertones that are in our skin. 
Um, the Beauty Flawless is so easy to be able to match with. Today I'm going to be using Bisque. And so that's basically like organza, velour, lace, um, and maybe like some people that are taffeta can use bisque. If you're darker, if you use taffeta, satin, chiffon, um, anything a little bit up there, you're going to use honey. And then we even have things that are darker. Now, if you're scarlet and maybe a really light organza, you would use the shade cream. In the beauty floss but you guys can always private message me to ask what um what colors to grab i love helping you guys i love like being able to help customize your orders for you guys so make sure you always private message me before you order so i can give you like the best recommendation hi how are you tool would use bisque good morning okay so right now i'm going in with the la girl pro conceal color corrector Again, I'll give you guys the link to this, don't you worry. So make sure that you comment on the live somewhere to be able to be alerted when I post the product list. Um, so the orange is gonna cancel out blue and purple undertones. So if you have really bad dark circles or if you have a bruise or whatever, this would be really great for that. Um, however, if you do not like full coverage, I don't recommend using this because it's gonna take a little bit of foundation and concealer to cover this orange this orange color, but I love full coverage, so that is no problem. So the key with these are to make sure you blend them down really well. So I have a little paper towel and I'm just wiping off my finger as I go, because I don't want a ton of product on here. I want it to lay really flat and I want it to be really smooth. So I'm gonna kind of smooth out that transition line to just make it look really flawless. And then like I said, we're just gonna continue to wipe away any excess so now we're ready so see how that kind of really um, that fades into our skin so you can't really see like the harsh line that's what you want thank you yes number one between July and October so it's yeah they section it off in months so I'm not not like fully number one yet but we're like the eyes on the prize you guys but yeah I was so I was like holding back tears when I saw that I was so excited I am so excited Hard work is finally paying off. That's not true. It's been paying off for a long time. Hi, Peggy. All right, so right now we're gonna take the BB Floss Complexion Enhancer in the shade Bisque, and I just squirted a little dollop of it on top of my powder concealer brush. Both of these are by Unique. Both of these are available on my website, rayhopebeauty.com. So I'm gonna take that and just kind of do the little swirls. Oh, I know this is like running. Thank you. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this and just kind of buff it all over. I am an orange status presenter. Okay, and then we're going to continue to buff it all over. Trying not to get it in our hair, but the struggle is real, you guys. <laughs> it always ends up in the hair. But I really love this brush for applying our foundation. It applies it so freaking streakless and so even so i know sometimes people struggle with a whole like cakey feeling or cakey look applying your foundation with this brush is definitely going to cut down on that because it applies it so evenly when you are getting cakey it's because your foundation is like built up in like areas on your skin um and the powder is clinging to those areas it also um happens a lot to people who have dry skin because you get like these little skin patches that you can't see until your foundation is clinging to it so if you are feeling or looking cakey especially during the winter time um using unique's exfoliating face mask like once a week will literally make your skin like brand new it strips away all of that dead skin cells that even like we can't see on ourselves um and will make your makeup lay really flat like very nice against your skin um also applying with a blending or Sorry, the um, powder concealer brush will help. Yay, I'm so excited for you. So Awesome, Samantha. Um, this is the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer and on my eyes I have on a color corrector. Awesome, Jennifer, I know, right? Now's the perfect time to start making your list. And just make sure your husbands and your boyfriends have my website, rayahopebeauty.com and you guys can tell them if they need any help 
like shopping for you, <laughs> they can always private message me and I can help them place the order. Cause I know boys, they ne they'll never get it. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to continue to build up this coverage. The BB Flawless is just like the Liquid Touch Foundation in the fact that it's totally buildable. Thank you, Lori. So we're just going to continue to buff this in all over. Thank you, Ann Lee. Okay, so same thing. Just all over. We're waiting. Waiting until we like the coverage. I usually will do like two to three layers depending on... How I feel that day. <laughs> so we're gonna do three today. So squirt a little bit, just like on top of there. And then I just dot it all around. And then we'll start doing little circles, circular motions. And then on my skin already, I have on the Glorious Face Primer and the setting spray. I'm gonna walk you guys through my pre-makeup routine because I swear by it. It really makes your makeup look way more flawless, makes it look like a second skin, makes it feel like a second skin, and it really protects your skin as well. So I'm gonna walk you through that in a second. So he's having no idea where to start. Yeah, just mess have him message me. It's totally fine. So how I clean my brushes, I use this bar called Zote, Z-O-T-E. You can get it at Walmart in the laundry detergent aisle. <laughs> it's like a dollar. And I use it kind of as a washboard for all my brushes and my beauty blenders. Unique also has a brush cleaner spray that's really great if you're like, if you hate cleaning your brushes, it's really easy. You just spray it on a paper towel and you'll just massage your brushes throughout it. So if you do makeup, but not like that often. Your brushes aren't like filthy, but you still want them to be clean because nothing makes your makeup look worse than a dirty brush. Honestly, like if my makeup starts looking like gross or cakey or just not how it normally does, I know it's because I need to use or I need to clean my brushes. <laughs> Every time I'm like, well, <laughs> it's time. All right, so I just squirted the Baby Flawless Complexion Enhancer on top of my finger and now I'm just using it to place it in place and i'll just take whatever's left over all over and now i'm going to take the blending bud by unique and this is damp i ring it underneath water so when you squeeze it no water is going to come out hopefully oh, a little bit did so we know we need to squeeze it more so squeeze it until no water comes out that's how you know it's ready to use but i love these especially during the winter when my skin feels really dry because it's going to be placing moisture into our skin as we apply it and also it's gonna help to smooth out our foundation. So like I said, if you're feeling or looking cakey, the blending buds are gonna really help to smooth everything out. My mom really loves these. She has a lot of fine lines and wrinkles around her, just, you know, natural aging. She loves the blending bud. She says it makes her makeup look super smooth. Hello, hello, coverage. Yes, coverage is so good. Yes, damp for sure. Also when it's damp, it's not gonna pick up a lot of the foundation, so that's a big win too, because then you're not wasting foundation. Okay, so same thing down here. And when I say like using the blending buds, I'm not talking about like going to Walmart and picking up a beauty blender. These are like designed for this foundation. They're a little more dense. They're not hard, but they're dense. When you first buy them, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. These are way too hard. These are like rocks. One, you need to get damp and kind of work it. And it's brand new. So give it some time. Really kind of uh, use it a few times and rinse it and wash it after you use it to break it in. And then you're going to be like, oh yeah, it's like golden. Like every time I'm like needing a new one of these, which is probably like once a year, maybe once every 18 months. Um, I'm always like, oh, goodbye, beautiful broken blender. But honestly, like they're amazing. They make the biggest difference, especially if you struggle with laugh lines or crow's feet or under eye creasing. So I'm gonna take a little bit more just to cover that color corrector. Um, these make a really big difference because it's compacting the makeup in a place rather than just buffing it on top. This is another really good tip for you guys if you have large pores. I know that's the struggle with a lot of you guys, large pores. You can see them if you're just using a brush because you're just buffing your foundation on top. This is like pushing it into place. So it just looks super smooth. And you get two when you buy them. I use some foundation in my life. I use just another 
Kelly, shoot me a message and I can color match you and give you a full recommendation. Like, I have the hardest time with that word. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I totally made a fool of myself the other day, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave it. <laughs> True life. I can't say that freaking word. Sus I can, I can say it if I see it. Like I have to type it out and then read it. <laughs> And most of you are probably like, what are you even talking about right now? <laughs> anyway, uh, I was talking about someone's comment. I was saying I can give you guys a full recommendation, long story short. Yes. Yeah, the beauty blenders work with like any brand. Yes, specifically. See, if I see it, I can say it. Okay, come on. This is like built up. There we go. Okay. Great, now that's a little too much, but it's okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the weather is like 80 today and it's super dry. I wanna pop some of that. Um, okay, so right now I'm taking my be my Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza and I'm just gonna tap this on my under eye in an upside down triangle, kinda like this. Just like, boom. Um, I have been wanting to like keep it up more i kind of went too low on this side but just like above your nose is where you want to keep this so triangle shape above the nose is going to help to brighten your under eye it's going to make it look younger more wide awake and really just open up your eye area now i'm going to take unique's smaller blending bud like i said when you buy these you get two a large and a small so i love using the small and then we're just going to blend this into place um wondering having a sale they're having a sale, so I was wondering. Who's having a sale? Are we having a sale? Oh, the Lange. Lange Wands, what's the best for short, thick hair? You'll want the 25 millimeter Luster Titanium. The titanium is better for uh, like thicker, more coarse hair. It's uh, like the heat setting is like more intense, I guess. I find that it works better on like even my hair too. Oh. I'm so jealous. I'm ready for cold weather. <laughs> and we like need rain. I live in California. I do live like an hour and a half away from the closest fire. So we're safe, but it is so dry here. So I can only imagine what it's like. Uh, so to color match, I just need a recent photo or a selfie. And then for you to kind of tell me what your skin is like. Is it dry? Is it oily? Is it combination? Are you prone to breakouts? Yada, yada. Just kind of give me a little rundown. And that way I can give you like a full personalized recommendation. Like based on what you like. Because I love full coverage. But that doesn't mean you have to wear all of this makeup, you know. Um, so if you just want something to make you feel pretty. Or just you want something. Um, awesome, me too. If you want something that kind of is just quick and easy and out the door. Like I can give you those recommendations. So just shoot me a selfie and kind of tell me what you're looking for. And we can definitely get you squared away. Uh, uh, so yeah, just shoot me a message. If you tap on my nose, a little window is going to pop up. Or down, I think it pops up. Tap on my name, Rhea Coleman or Rhea Hope, depending on what platform you're watching it on on Facebook. Um, and then just shoot me a message. But yeah, we are having a huge sale um, with Lange. Not Unique, with Lange. Um, well, Unique's kind of having a sale. I'll tell you guys about that in a sec. Um, but make sure you private message me for my link. And I'll give it to you guys. They're saying they're going, they're saying we are going to get freezing rain, snow rain here. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang it. Yeah, you're close to the bad one. I am in San Diego, so the closest one to us is the one that's in um, Malibu. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Hi, Barbara. Awesome. You're going to love your launch products. They're so good. Okay, so I know I was going to tell you guys about my pre-makeup routine because it makes a really big difference. So I just sprayed my dry beauty blender. or uh, Yeah, this beauty blender from like Ulta. I like it because it's flat. That's the real reason I use it. Um, but I just sprayed it with my Touch Behold setting spray. This little guy I use three times during, four times actually, in my makeup routine. So my pre-makeup routine um, consists of spraying my face down with this first. This is going to help to cap your creasing, cap your pores, help contain your natural oils, your natural dryness. Um, this is like seriously like 
a credible product. I also set my makeup with this and I just sprayed it on my dry beauty blender to really cling onto the powder. So the next thing that I do is I go in with our Glorious Face Primer and I apply that all over my face, my eyes, my lips, my lashes, everywhere. And that's going to help to uh, fill in those pores, help to protect our skin from any makeup, help to contain our natural oils, natural dryness, and it's going to help um, our makeup not crease. So if you, have you heard that saying, it's a crime not to prime? Like it's so true. <laughs> so true. So Glorious Face Primer, it's amazing it's so silky it feels so good and it's perfect for all skin types so right now i'm just taking my beauty blender and i'm just dipping it in my um translucent setting powder and i'm kind of patting it all over my skin i'm using a technique called baking what baking is is it's just taking a grip of <laughs> translucent setting powder and applying it all over your skin like i said i have natural oily skin so what this is doing is it's trapping those natural oils. So it's not gonna push out against your foundation. Rather, it's going to like soak up into the translucent setting powder. And I do this when I say soak because like it's happening, but you're not gonna be able to see it or feel it. You'll just look flawless. <laughs> um, now, if you have dry skin or mature skin, meaning you have a lot of fine lines or wrinkles, you can absolutely use the translucent setting powder to set your concealer or wherever you find that you have natural lines coming through um, because this is kind of like keeping everything together i would recommend still using this product but taking whatever's like in the cap or just taking a very little amount and using a brush kind of like this like an angled brush and like scooping it in and kind of like tapping it in a place rather than baking and putting a ton on there um because this is translucent setting powder so it will make you look powdery or i don't know powdery is the best word um it'll make you look powdery it'll cling to those dry areas so if you are going to use it and you have dry skin use less of it make sure you're using something moisturizing after like a rose water yes so if you want to get notified when i go live if you tap on my face i believe there's three little dots in the right hand corner you may have to wait till i get off but if you tap those three little dots you'll see a little box and it'll say something like Get notified when she goes live, when Ray goes live, or uh, subscribe to her lives, or something like that. I forget what the term, the wording is. If you guys see it, go ahead and type it out so everyone can see. Or if you've done it before, walk help walk us through it. But yes, there is a way to be notified. Um, and then if you go to my Facebook, Raya Coleman, and you are following me, my friends list is full, so I can no longer accept friends friend requests. But um, if you click follow, if you tap follow again, you'll see this little button. It'll say see first. You'll see like three little buttons. It'll say unfollow. Don't press that button. It'll say see first and it'll say like normal settings or whatever it says. Click that see first. That way I'll be on the top of your news feed and you'll see me more. Some of you are going to be like, now I know how to unfollow you. <laughs> yes, perfect. Turn on live notifications. So. Um, can you do that while I'm live, Ashley? Or do you have to wait till I get off? Wait for your response. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pressed powder, and this is in the shade Taffeta. I'm going to apply it with a gigantic kabuki brush. I'll give you guys the link to this, so have no fear. And, okay, cool. So now I'm going to start telling you guys to do that. So yeah, click my face. Drop down window is going to pop up. Three little dots on the top-hand corner. Turn on... What does it say? Turn on live notifications. Perfect. Awesome. Yay. Everyone do it now. Everyone do it now and then click that little heart so I know who did it. Maybe I'll start doing a giveaway for that. That'd be fun. Sweet. Okay, cool. Who did it? Yes. Isn't this brush so good? This is from Ulta. I'll give you guys, like I said, I'll give you guys a link to this. And I seriously, like, so appreciate you guys shopping from my link because that's the only way I get credit. And this is my job, this is my livelihood, this is how I pay the bills, put food on the table. So I like can't thank you guys enough for like your support, the times you view, even if you should never buy anything and you just share, like that is still helping, so thank you. And you guys subscribe, or um, turning on live notifications, you guys are amazing. Okay, but do you see how flawless this foundation coverage is? Like so, good 
like porcelain doll coming right up. I love this pressed powder. It's so good. Um, so again, this was the Mineral Touch pressed powder in the shade Taffeta. And I really like applying it with a kabuki brush. I find that it applies it really airy and just kind of very evenly. So I just like tap it in just real into the mirror to separate the powder on the brush. So everything is like looking really even. Yay, I'm so excited for you, Amanda. Um, and tapping it into place. My code for text messaging is 81010. 81010. And then you'll do at symbol Ray of Hope. That's how you subscribe to um, the texting service. I always forget to do it though. <laughs> I'm like the worst. But um, during Black Friday, I am really good at it because I know a lot of you guys want to know the Black Friday deals like ASAP because they sell out within an hour, like every single day. So our Black Friday deal usually, like it could, I could be completely wrong this year. They don't tell us until like a week of pretty much. Um, but I've been with Unique for now almost three years, so this is going to be my third Black Friday with Unique. Uh, the last two years have been a week long of Black Friday sales, and each day is a different bundle of like limited edition items. That's how it's been in the past. We actually kind of complained about it because we want like you guys to save money on like actual like full lined products. So maybe they'll they listen. I. I don't know, <laughs> like honestly, I don't know. Um, but in the past, it's always been limited edition products, which are really fun because you get your hands on it and then throughout the year, you watch me use it. And if you didn't get it, you're sad. <laughs> Sorry, but um, yes. I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> but limited edition items, bundles, Black Friday. So um, if you wanna be alerted to like those deals or any deals that come up, uh, throughout like the year, make sure you text 81010 at symbol Raya Hope, all one word. Um, and then you'll get a text from yours truly when deals like that are on the horizon. So just want me to brush. Awesome. That's a good present. Okay. So if you want to see when I go live, tap on my face, three little dots will pop up and then you'll click turn on live notifications. This brush is from Ulta. It's a Love Beauty Foley It Brush. Um, I'll give you guys the link to this though. So just stay tuned. After I get off, immediately after I get off, I'll give you guys, my nose is so itchy. I'll give you guys the full product list, including links to things that are not by Unique. Thank you, these are from Lavender Blue. You could use my code Rhea20 to save money on her website. But if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do so, because I always give you guys swipe up links to everything I'm wearing <laughs> on a pretty frequent basis. And then I also give you guys like really good sale tips on um, clothes and stuff, because I am a bargain shopper. <laughs> um, do the three little dots. Thanks, Renee. Okay, so now it's time for contouring. So click that little heart emoji if contouring is like scary to you, if you're like, girl, I don't even know what contouring is. <laughs> is that something to do with your eyes? <laughs> Cause I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. When I first started, I'm not joking. Like when I first started with Unique three years ago, I text my sponsor who like I joined under and I said, what's contouring? Is that like an eyeshadow thing? And she was like, are you serious? I was like, oh yeah, no, no I'm just kidding. I totally, I totally know what contouring is. YouTube, <laughs> contouring for idiots. <laughs> And then I watched those YouTube videos and I was like, yeah, no, there's no way I can do that. No, uh-uh. So I started watching these Facebook lives of these girls doing, that's not even true. There wasn't first Facebook lives back then. So I was watching pre-recorded videos. Yes, thank you. 81010 at Raya Hope. Yeah, so that's the number, 81010. And then Raya Hope, at Raya Hope is what you're gonna text. Awesome, Cheryl, you'll love it. Um, Kaylee, Kylie, K-E-L-Y, K, Kylie. <laughs> I'm so bad uh, at reading. <laughs> Just shoot me a message and I can help you uh, to pick out some eyeshadow colors for hazel green eyes. Actually, the palette we're going to be using today would be like your jam. So stay tuned. Okay. Where was I going? What was I talking about? So contouring. So scary. Like I could never do that. So then I started watching... Yay, hi Brooke. So then I started watching these videos of these girls on Facebook using this makeup and I was like, okay, 
let's see what this is about. And I saw one of them do this and I was like, oh, I could totally do that. And I've been hooked ever since. And now I feel like I'm a professional contourer. So here's my tip. Angled brush, or even if you're new at it, I would actually recommend Unique's Powder Puff Brush. It's round, it's smaller, it fits perfectly in that area, so you don't have to worry about all the angles of an angled brush. So Powder Puff Brush, it's under Tools on my website. Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa. If you're my skin tone, if you're lighter, you're gonna want to use Sunset. If you're darker, Hermosa. Only two shades, Hermosa, Sunset. So shoot me a message if you're not sure what shade to get. So Hermosa, tap your brush in. Swirl it in the cap so it really gets that pigment all over. Tap it off a little bit. Then you're going to start at the top of your ear, working way down the hall of your cheek. And you're going to step like two finger lengths away from your mouth. You want it to sit just right in here. So wherever you have that bone, that cheekbone, right underneath that. And you're just going to swish that brush back and forth. Don't push super hard. You can even hold it towards the back so you're forced to have a light hand. And you're just let the brush do all the work. So I swish back and forth, and then you're gonna do around your jawline. Watch it out, your earring coming in hot. So around the jaw, just gonna give you that super model jaw. So around the jaw, you could take it down, kind of even everything out. I usually do like my collarbones. And then, so again, we're just tapping, swirling, tap off. You're not watching the replay, Becky, this is live. And then you're just gonna do little swirls on your temples and then I kind of bring it together. So swirl, swirl. This is gonna make your forehead look smaller. So what contouring is, is it's basically just taking a darker color and it's making those areas recede. So wherever you don't put a contour is gonna pop out. So those areas are gonna um, pop out. <laughs> so your under eye is gonna look a lot brighter. The center of your face is gonna come forward. So it just makes, makes your face look skinnier. We're gonna cut the cut the poop. It's going to make your face look skinnier. So everything I'm using is available right here. RayHopeBeauty.com. You can always private message me if you want to be color matched or need any help picking out makeup. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. RayaHope is my name over there. And then if you want to turn on notifications for these types of lives, I do hair tutorials, makeup tutorials. Uh, tap on my face till you see three little dots up here. Click those and turn on live notifications. All right, so as you saw, I just squeezed my brush and just ran it down the sides of my nose. This is going to thin out your nose. And then we're going to pop it underneath our lip. This is going to make our lip look a little more pouty. You can always use that. Okay, I'm going to take a take a pause. Get your heart, get your fingers ready to press that little heart button. Do you see the difference? No contour? Contour. See how much thinner this side of my face looks? How much rosier or like plumper my cheek looks like I'm making the same expression but this side is definitely popping out my under eye looks so much brighter it just looks more defined it just it's it's good it's real good so look at that isn't that crazy that was just the beach from bronzer with an angled brush so good uh what if you forehead is small what would you do to look bigger um you would not contour your forehead if you want it to look bigger. What contouring does is it's basically just adding more dimensions to your skin, to your face. So if you have more of a round face, contouring is gonna be like your BFF. It really makes a big difference. And it goes, it's the same for everyone. Top of the ear, working your way down, two finger lengths away from your mouth. And you're just gonna wiggle that brush back and forth. So again, I'm using the Beachfront Bronzer by Unique. It's available right here, rayahobita.com, in the shade Hermosa. And I love this bronzer. It's really subtle. It's not like muddy or too heavy looking. It's very natural. I always think it's funny when we describe makeup as natural because it's like, girl, <laughs> say natural, but you get what I mean. So, and then you can totally build this up, making this look um, deeper, darker, bolder. I love a bold contour, so I do a few, a few times on both sides. But if you want more natural, you'll just do it a little bit and then you're, you're done. Yes, contouring at any age for sure. Honestly, like if you're older and you contour, you're going to look younger. It's going to make your face look more alive. It's going to make your face look uh, more like dimensional. It really makes a big difference. Uh, what if I not use, use blush because I have red undertones? Megan, you can still totally use this. You can use this in place of your blush. Aw, thanks Cheryl. Okay, so 
One more time. One more time. Okay. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you click that share button in the bottom left-hand corner. Definitely looks too dark. I love a bold contour, so this to me doesn't look dark. In fact, I usually will go darker <laughs> if I'm not live. Well, if I do like pictures or something. Okay, so hi Ashley, welcome. Okay, so that was the bronzer. So now we're gonna go in with blush. I'm not like a huge blush girl. Like I've never really been into like really dark or bright blushes. So when I found this blush, I was like, oh my gosh, you're my best friend. It's so good. This is the limited edition shade. So if you do not own this yet, you need to buy it today before it sells out. Because once it's gone, it's gone forever. This is the shade Serene in the pressed blush. It's not going to be with the other blushes on the website. Look for the green star. That's where you're going to know. Yes, yeah, Serene. And everyone chanted Serene. So you can grab it at It's going to be under face. I'm gonna take Unique's blusher brush and we're gonna swirl it into the mirror, tap off, and you're gonna smile. And then you're just gonna start tapping this on the apple of your cheek, working to your hairline, sticking closer to your bronzer. And just wait till you see what this little baby does. Malibu, I believe is still out of stock, um, but if you have red undertones, honestly, you could use either bronzer. It, it won't pick up a lot of the undertones because it's sitting on top of foundation. But if you are new at contouring, I would recommend the shade Sunset. It has yellow undertones in it, and it's not as um, not as dark or as deep. Yeah, you can use Sunset. If you're worried about your undertones, you can totally reach for Sunset. Okay, just tapped on. Look at that difference, you guys. It's not super blushy. Don't look like a clown. It's just so subtle. It just brings this makeup life makeup look to life. This is the blush in the shade Serene. We just tapped it on and look at that shimmer. It's not a glitter. It's not, you know, falling all over the place. We don't look like we're <laughs> throwing glitter on our face, but it's just this really pretty glow. It makes our cheeks look way more plump again, makes our under eye look brighter. It really just brings our cheekbones up into the party. So look at that. You guys see that difference? Huge difference. Yes, it is seriously my favorite. No, I have not done my eyebrows yet. We'll get there next. Okay, so smile. And we're just going to tap this into place. Yes, isn't this so pretty? I love this color. And now if you have a dark complexion that I do, you can even reach and get the color spirited. It's exactly the same as this, but darker. But I like something more subtle, not something like really blushy. Um, so I love this one. Yes, it's so good. And you can also use it as a highlight. You could even take it up higher and pop it on your actual like eye socket bone right here. Um, and that would be really pretty as well. But I like using highlights. So we're going to go in with the Touch of the Mode Luminizers. This is the cream to powder. It's a stick. Being honest, it's not my favorite. It's like too hard. But I have it, so might as well use it. But I do love our Touch a, a La Mode, that's the name of it, Luminizer in the shade Lustrious. This is going to give you, just, just you watch and see, it gives you the most gorgeous bronzy highlight. Like angels should be singing. And you're just going to kind of like swirl a little, you don't even need any like certain stroke to put this on, just pop it on, just throw it on there. I wash my brushes once a week. I try. <laughs> Sometimes it might be like every 10 days. Okay, so look at that again. See how it just like really pops. Pop, lock, and drop it. Hi, Evelyn. Okay, so same thing, little swirls on our highest part of our cheekbone. And this just makes that area pop. This photographs really well too. So if you have family pictures, Touch on the Luminizer, the shade Lustrous needs to be with you. Yep, once a week with the Zote Bar, exactly. Okay, so this product is actually not by Unique. Um, this is by Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Ether Light. And I just use it to clean up my contour. If I'm going to be honest, it's really pricey. Not worth the money, in my opinion. When you could use the Press Powder in the shade Scarlet to, be, to do this exact same thing. <laughs> But we're basically just going to clean it up because we want our contour to sit just right in this area. Okay. 
all done. All right, so we're done with our face, so now we're gonna do our eyebrows. Hi, Holly. Okay, so we're gonna just brush them out. I always brush up my brows before, just to get the hair working in the right direction. Zote bar, Z-O-T-E, um, you can get at Walmart. It's a laundry detergent bar. It's just what I use to clean my makeup brushes. It's like 97 cents. <laughs> it's really cheap. And I just use it kind of as a washboard. Okay, so where are you? There you are. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, one of my favorite products by Unique. This is the brow pencil and this is in the shade medium. Now, when I first started doing my brows, to be completely honest, they totally scared me. I didn't know like where to start. I didn't know what to do. Who else is like that? So I got the brow pencil by Unique, which is what I'm using, and I was in love. I am in love. It's so good. It makes doing your brows so quick and easy. If you're into more natural looking eyebrows, this will be your BFF. If you like more bolder brows like I do, you can still absolutely use this. You can just use it to outline and then you could reach in and get the Brow Obsession palette. It's really good to use. Or you could just do what I'm doing. So what you're gonna do is you just draw a straight line up and over and then you're just gonna connect this top part to the arch and then bring it back down into the tail. And then I just very light-handedly sketch a little line on bottom and then we'll just start filling in any sparse areas just like that. What a difference. Like, what a difference. This really just ties in your makeup, like, look. So if you have very thin brows, I would recommend starting off with the brow pencil and then getting the brow obsession palette with a brow artist brush. I'll show you what those look like in just a second um, to do your brows. And these come in three colors, light, medium, and dark, water resistant. It's a retractable tip, so you never need to sharpen it. And it's so dainty. So it's like you get the most perfect hair-like strokes. So like I said, if you're into more natural brows, this will be perfect for you. Thanks, Nikki. You should thicken the end. Yes, I'll, well, I'm not done. And honestly, Brows are sisters, they're not twins. <laughs> and I always get this question, what color is my natural hair color? It is the color of my eyebrows. So I know some people really hate having or seeing people with dark eyebrows when their hair is blonde, but I'm not gonna dye my eyebrow hair. That is just weird. <laughs> I can't do it. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, now that we have it outlined, kind of filled in, and now, like you said, we're just going to go in and just, like, touch it up. Make sure everything looks really good. Get that little hair off. But see how, like, it, it just slides through like butter. It's so good. Perfect, Alyssa. Yes, I will get back to you as soon as I get off. Okay, so I've been liking this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I have like longer brow hair, <laughs> so weird. Um, so I hate when it moves. So I just kind of like graze over my brow hairs, brow hairs with this clear gel and just lay it all down. Lay down, brow hair, and that's it. Ta-da! But you guys, this pencil is so good. These are from Lavender Blue. You can look her up on Instagram. It's all one word, Lavender Blue, and you can use my code Rhea20 to save money, or you could look me up on um, Instagram. My name is just Rhea Hope, all one word, R-A-Y-A-H-O-P-E, and I'm gonna give you guys like a full outfit rundown, and I do a lot of other fun stuff on my Instagram as well, so make sure you're following. So someone asked me if you have super thin brow hair, what you should use. So what I would actually recommend is both of these products. This is the Brow Pencil by Unique in Medium, and then this is the Brow Obsession Palette. It's so good. You get a pomade, two powders, and two highlights. So you would just dip your Brow Artist Brush, which is this like flat-ended, dual-ended brush. Um, so the angle side in the pomade, and then dip it in whatever color matches your brows. So I dip it in and then you'll just like follow the natural shape and direction of your brows. It makes it so quick, so easy. So if you like have no brow hair, this will be your best friend. 
So I would definitely snag those. All right, so now it's time for little eyes. Eyes. Okay. Let's clear our spot. Um, hmm. Vicky. It's okay. Not everyone's cup of tea, but that's okay. Hello, Sophia. Welcome. Okay, so now we're going to do our eyes. So I'm going to be using um, our Addiction Palette 4. Now, I took out all of my... Here, I'll show you what they actually look like. So when you buy our Addiction Palettes, they come like this. So this is Addiction Palette 6. Um, so they come like this, the little mirror, and you get all your colors. I popped all of mine out because this is what I do for a living. I have a ton of makeup. So I put them all in a big palette like this. Um, yes, Evelyn, shoot me a message um, and I can give you a full recommendation. Thank you. Okay, so these are all of our palettes. This is palette one, palette two, palette three from the pink to the black, palette four. So this is the one we're going to be using today. This is going to be from like this really light champagne color to this navy blue. This is palette four. So someone had asked me what palette to use if you have green eyes. This palette would be amazing for blue, green, and hazel eyes. Um, it would really make your eyes pop. Okay, Vicky, you can just go troll somewhere else. Okay, so there we go. Right here, palette four, so good. Okay, so we're going to grab our fluffy crease, crease brush by Unique. Sorry, I blocked her. She's gone. She gone. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Caitlin Brist Bristow. She was The Bachelorette a long time ago. She has this saying on her Instagram. I'm an acquired taste, and if you don't like me, acquire some taste. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, she she got she got blocked. Okay, so now we're gonna take our fluffy crease brush and we're gonna take this color right here. This is gonna be the second color. Again, the negative part about popping all of your palettes out is now I don't remember the names. So palette four is what we're gonna be using, and we're gonna take this brush or this color right here. This is gonna be kind of like a caramel brown. And we're going to take the fluffy crease brush and we're going to tap it in there, swirl it into the cap. Now this brush is going to be available for you guys December 1st. So make sure that you save my website, rayahopita.com, so you can snag it because it's literally amazing. Okay, how do you pop them out uh, with a butter knife? It's like a huge mess, messy process. It's like, it's really annoying. So I wouldn't actually recommend it. Uh, it's super annoying. But we have it, we did it, it's done. All right, so fluffy brush, and I keep tapping it off because this color is a little bit darker and I don't want a super dark eye, we're going bronzy. So we're just using this kind of as our transition shade um, and add some like depth to our eye. So we're gonna go in with this color and we're just very light-handedly sweeping this in our, the crease of our eye back and forth just like that. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Uh, what are you afraid of, Lisa? L it looking too dark? Just tap it off. Um, that really helps. And then I always swirl it into the cap of whatever I'm using. It kind of like separates the pigment on the brush. So when you do go in, it's not going to be super heavy. Uh, another tip for if you want your eyeshadow to look really soft and not super dark is hold it towards the back. It really makes a difference. And it's something that you're going to have to be conscious of because even I, at times, will end up in the middle of the brush and I'm like, gosh, it's looking so dark. Oh, wait. Hold your brush towards the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a huge mess. It's not worth it, to be honest. <laughs> I would have rather just keep them all together. Yes, this is a new brush by Unique. It's going to be released to the public December 1st. Uh, uh, did I miss? Did I miss a comment? If I missed you guys a comment, just... Say it again. Unless it wasn't nice, then just don't. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Okay, so same thing over here. We're just gonna kind of dust that on to the crease and the brow bone. And now if you like tutorials, if you like makeup tutorials or hair tutorials, make sure that you click the three little dots. If you tap my face, tap it. Um, three little dots up here, click that, and then you'll turn on live notifications. 
I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more of this color from Addiction Palette 4. And if you wanted like a palette that's great for like every single day, um, or just like a one-stop shop for your eyeshadow, the Addiction Palettes are the way to go. They're really inexpensive for how many shades you get, and we have five different ones to choose from. Almost all of them come with some matte, some shimmer shades, so it's really the way to go. So again, you'll lick, you'll lick, you'll lick my website. You'll click my website, rayahopebeauty.com, click shop here, and then um, you'll see them under eyes, and you'll just look for the words addiction palette. Um, this is a fluffy, the fluffy crease brush. If you follow me on Instagram, Raya Hope is my name on there. As soon as this gets released, I'm going to give you guys a direct swipe up for it. Yeah, they seriously last forever. I have my Addiction Palette 1 right here, and I've had this since I started. It came in my kit three years ago. Uh, okay, Giselle, you can go away. Uh, no, I went to the University of YouTube. <laughs> I know my brows aren't for everyone, you know, and honestly, after I'm done with my eyeshadow, they'll look a lot more put together, but some people are just so impatient. All right. So now we're going to add that really that depth to our eye. So now we're going to take the darker brown right here, this color right here. This is Addiction Palette 4, and we're going to go in with the third color, which is this really dark brown, and we're going to go in with this, uh, Luxie small tapered blending brush. And we're just gonna very light handedly pop this in the outer corner of our eye. And now I don't get like super crazy with the whole like perfect cat eye look. I just kind of follow the natural shape of my eye in the crease and then along the lash line right here, just this outer corner and then I'll just kind of fill it in. And I'll just very light handedly pull out. And when I say light handed, I'm literally like barely touching my skin. It's okay, my, you know, brows are not for everybody. And my brows aren't even, they aren't. Like this one's just shaped differently and it's, it is what it is. And I have bangs, so my bangs usually sit on that side. <laughs> yes, University of YouTube. Or I should say University of Facebook Live. <laughs> yes, this is an Ipsy brush, exactly. I think I got it like a few years ago. Okay, so same thing on this side. We're just gonna kind of very light-handedly follow our crease and go along the lash line. Yeah, I think what my, the brow, the brows. Um, I don't naturally have an arch. My eyebrows are actually really straight and when I wax them, I wax them in an arch. Well, I have the girls wax them in an arch, so that's probably why they're not even, but whatever. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so we're just deepening this depth over here. Kind of gives it more of a sultry look. And like I said, just super light hand. If it freaks you out using a darker color, really light hand, hold your brush towards the back. It makes it really subtle. <laughs> They're cousins. They're distant cousins. Cousins twice removed. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I had for my uh, crease and just kind of dust over this. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you, yeah, this is a, um, gosh, what's it called? I got it on Amazon. I'll have to find the name of these, but I really like it. I've actually brought it out to clean the makeup out of my hair. That's why I bought them. <laughs> Cause you, I hate getting my hair wet after I do this to, do this part like wipe the makeup out and a girlfriend of mine told me about these and they're really good and they're super cheap on amazon i'm gonna find the link and i'll give it to you guys over on my instagram so make sure you follow me over there raya hope is my name on instagram uh, uh. <laughs> thanks donna yes yeah, so if you guys need any help or recommendations just shoot me a message i Literally would love to help you guys. So just tap on my face, a window will pop up and that's how you'll message me. Just shoot me a selfie. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this bronzy color right here. This is one, two, three, four, the fourth color in Addiction, Addiction Palette 4. 
um, this bronzy color right here is one of my favorites and I'm gonna take Unique's Deluxe Brush and we're gonna just tap it on that color and I'm not swirling into the mirror with this because I really want it to just pick up. And I'm gonna hold my brush closer to the front because like I said, the closer you hold it, the more uh, pressure you're putting on it and the darker your shadow is gonna look. I want my shadow to look really dark on my eyelid, so I'm gonna be holding my brush a lot closer to the tip. Thank you. Uh, secretive? Uh, oh yeah, you're probably right, D. I don't have um, the names pulled up, but I figured if you guys are gonna grab Addiction 4, you'll just save this on your timelines, on your Facebooks, and then you could just watch it on the replay but I really love these three colors together because you don't need to really blend them. They really kind of mesh together. So when you're done, you're done. I hate blending, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And I love doing bronzy eyes. I feel like it just, it makes your eyes look so pretty. It makes your eye look pop and it goes with so much. And you can do any lip color with a bronzy eye, nude, red, pink, whatever, and it'll look good. Hi, Liz. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna keep packing this on and for those just tuning in, I'm using Addiction Palette 4 by Unique and you can purchase it right here, Um, I don't do hair tutorials every day, but I do do them frequently. And usually when I do do them, the company that I do them with give, does giveaways for free hot tools, um, which are like a huge savings. <laughs> and they do multiple giveaways while I'm live. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have my live notifications on up here, the three little dots. Just tap there and type, uh, click on turn on live notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook. And I usually post on Instagram as well when I'm going live. So make sure you follow me over there too to catch those so you don't miss them. I have that one every time I blend it, it turns into one color. Yeah, so I like that. I like that it kind of all blends together. So if it is looking like it's, you know, all one color, you could go a little heavier on the darker shade. That was the deluxe brush. I love this brush for putting on like shimmer colors or like sparkly colors um, because it there's no fallout. It like literally clings to the powder and puts it on your eyelid. So good. Yeah, I love browns. They're probably my favorite color to wear. And then I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy crease brush by Unique and we're just gonna very light handedly kind of blend these together a little bit. And then I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna take uh, my blending brush by Unique, wipe off whatever is on there and hold it super towards the back so we have a really light hand and we're just going to dust this onto the brow bone just like that. back and forth, just kind of softening those edges so everything kind of fades. Yes, this color will definitely make your blue eyes pop. It'll make your hazel green eyes pop as well. So if you have hazel green or blue eyes, Addiction Palette 4, you definitely need a snag. Okay, I'm gonna take um, this brush. This is a Morphe 432 brush. It's like a liner brush. And we're gonna take the darkest shade from Addiction Palette 4, that brown that we use for our outer corner. And we're gonna pop this on underneath our bottom lash line just to give it more of a cohesive finish look. For brown eyes, uh, brown eyes look really pretty with like pinks and purples and blues. So you could do Addiction Palette 5 or Addiction Palette 4. Really, Addiction Palette 4 is for everyone because it comes with like all of the colors, darks, blues, champagnes. Okay, so we're just continuing. Go underneath, just like that. See how it kind of just brings the eye look together? Kind of gives it a little bit of um, like a sultry feel. Natural high art, I would just, Go with your natural brow shape, it, whatever it is, go with it. And then I really love using the brow pencil with whatever you do with your brows, it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna take um, 
Do you have those colors? Yes, right here. Addiction palette four is what I'm using right now, which is right here. This bottom line, this bottom eight. Eight, is that eight? Maybe nine. I don't even know. Okay, so we're gonna take the brow pencil in the shade Perfect, and this is actually part of this month's kudos. If you're new around here and you're like, what the heck is a kudos? It's basically like our monthly deal. Uh, every month, Unique does a different bundle, different products. Sometimes they're limited edition, sometimes they're not. This month, it's both. So you can either pick the limited edition shades or you can pick your own shade. So, which I love because you get to totally customize it. So you can get the eyeliner in perfect, part of this kudos. And then you can get the Epic Mascara. I'm going to use the black so you can pick the black in that. And then you get to pick your shade of Splash Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to use two today, so stay tuned. We're going to do a new new thing. And then you also get um, the cleansing stick, which helps to remove eye, eye makeup. <laughs> it's going to help remove eye makeup. And it helps to nourish your lashes, so it helps them grow. Tired. Oh, I know. I like having them all in one area. Why can't I open this? But um, it's it was really messy. It was a messy process. Yeah, the colors in palette four are so good. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do liquid eyeliner today. Hey, something different. Um, but I'm only gonna do it to make my lashes. Oh crap, we touched our eye. It's all good, we're gonna fix that. Um, make our lashes look darker or thicker, I should say. So we're just gonna follow against our lash line. Really love using this. So pointy, so dainty. Look at that. It's like a dagger. It makes doing eyeliner so easy. Unless you go in too fast and you tap yourself in the eye like I just did. But it's super fast drying. So it's super easy to fix, which I'll show you guys. Okay, so that was the dip and draw liner in Perfect that we just used. Yeah, the... um. The cleansing stick, that's what you need, Samantha. Uh, that liner. <laughs> you like tap yourself with it. It's okay, it's so easy to fix. If I do color my eyes, it's usually blue. Awesome, Liz. Um, I never do purples on myself. I don't know why, I should. Addiction Palette 5 is really great for those. Yes, it's so good. I know, I was the same way. I was so scared of... Um, of eyeliner until I grab that one. Okay, I'm gonna take the swivel end, the little brush on this. And now if you got crazy like I did and tapped yourself with it, you're gonna just wait a few minutes. And then you just very, very light-handedly scratch it off. Boom, like it never happened never happened and you don't even really need to touch it up but we're going to just a little okay now we're time for lashes so i'm gonna take the this is from walmart can you believe that i'll give you guys the link to this so make sure you follow me on instagram so i just like scrape it off wait for it to dry a little bit same goes with mascara if you get mascara on your foundation wait for it to dry a little and then just scrape it off using the little swivel end of your eye uh eyebrow pencil Hello. Hi, Kathy from Dance Moms. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to take the Epic Mascara, and this is part of the kudos as well. If you want a bomb mascara, it gives you amazing length and volume. This mascara needs to be in your makeup kit. It's so good. Also comes in brown, comes in waterproof black or regular black. Today we're just using the regular. My earrings are from Lavender Blue, and you can use my code Raya20 on her website to save some money. She has an Etsy site and she has an Instagram. But if you follow me on Instagram, Raya Hope is my name on there. Um, I'll give you guys a link to it. Okay, so I just kind of brushed through my lashes. This is like my um, my like lash primer, if you will, because then I go in with my 3D Fiber Mascara. This is what Unique is like known for. It's a two-part system with mascara. So you get a gel and you get fibers. 
and it gives you like 500 times the length and volume that you would get from like drugstore mascara. It's so good. So gel first and what you want to do is super easy. You just start at the base of the lash going all the way up and you just give your lashes a really good coat with this. And then I also go against the backs of my lashes and pop it on there. And then you immediately go in with the fiber. So it comes in this dry, it's like fuzzy little dry wand. I always roll it on the back of my hand to get those fibers really onto that wand so we don't have any fallout. And then I'll very lighthandedly, even if you did fall out, just pick it up really easy. Um, I go along the backs and then on the front, I just very lighthandedly go from the mid to the ends of the lash. And then you're gonna let it sit on your lashes for a little bit. Uh, it's gonna cling, it's gonna like glue onto the gel. So while we're waiting, we'll do this eye. So gel from the base of the lash all the way up. And now the gel is gonna be like a thick gel, like it's not like a everyday mascara. So it is it takes some getting used to, but I promise you, people are gonna be stopping you to ask, what lash extensions you have. <laughs> I get asked that all the time. No, you can't order them separately. They come in a bundle. But they do come in bundles that you could get the um, Epic Mascara. You can get all, all of these together. It's called the Totally Pump Duo. It's under eyes. So now I'm going to take the gel and pop that just on the bottom lash line. And I only do the gel on the bottom lash line because this is a gel. It's not going to bleed or like, you know, move around, even if you have watery eyes or if it's super humid or if you're really sweaty. So my girls that like work out at the gym or are trainers, they love the 3D fiber mascara because they can actually put it on and it stays on without like giving them raccoon eyes. Okay, so now we're ready to seal up the fiber. So gel all over, base of the lash all the way up. Seal them up. And then on the back, just roll through. Roll out. And now I always do two coats. Like I love dramatic lashes. So I just focus that second coat just on the tips like that. And then again, we're gonna let it sit and settle. If I missed a comment, just comment it again or you could always private message me your question and I can help you individually. That goes if you guys wanna be color matched or if you have any questions on um, what to get or if you need help picking out your colors or anything, just shoot me a message and I would love to help you guys. Okay, so sealed up those first fibers. Pop on the second on the tips. We're done with that. The gel is black. Black gel. And then I always do the second cut on here. Okay. And now seal up all the fibers. Now, if you're worried about the fibers moving around, just do more than one coat of the gel for like extra insurance. They will stay. And like I said, it is um, water resistant. I don't know if I said that actually. It's water resistant, smudge proof, and it's super easy to remove. Just soap and water or the cleansing stick is actually the best thing to remove it. it takes it off like butter. All right, so gel all over. And then the last part is I go in with my Epic Mascara one last time because I love dramatic long lashes. And this just gives you a little oomph. Oomph, oomph. Okay. And then if any fibers fell, I just have an empty brush on hand. And I just sweep them away. Just like that. Same thing over here. Perfect, all done. But, uh, yes, I, and that's toot my own horn, but I am a pretty good color matcher for foundation. And everything comes with the Love It Guarantee. So you can return it, exchange it. If it doesn't match perfectly, new prom. All right, so now we're gonna do a pink pinky lip. I'm actually gonna be using two liquid lipsticks today. I've never done this, so hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna take our lip liner first. 
it's so important to use a lip liner you guys especially if um you have trouble with your lipstick bleeding into your foundation or if your eyelashes your eyelashes i was looking at my lashes um or if your lips kind of fade in your face just like a natural whatever um this would really help it keeps everything in place makes your lips look more plump these are matte they're creamy they have an all-day hold and i can see a fuzz Okay, sorry. <laughs> like a squirrel. <laughs> okay, so I need to fix this. Just drive my nuts. Hold on. Hold up. There's like a fuzz and I can't see it. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna glue it on there. <laughs> okay, so um, lip liner and this is in the shade Punchy. This is actually one of my favorites for pinks. You can even fill in your whole lips with this for really pink. Look how dry my lips are. I shouldn't say that. Don't look. Don't look at them. Okay, so we're gonna line our lips with this. So hard to talk doing this. All right, so I like to overdraw my lips a little bit. So what I do is I start right here in the center and wherever my lips stop, that's where I start drawing. Um, just coming on. Is there a link for the fire mascara? Yes, that is called the 3D fire mascara and everything's available right here. Rayahopebeauty.com and it's under eyes. It's so quiet. My kids are in school. It's so nice. <laughs> okay, so overdraw just a little. Okay, so I wanna make sure it's even. Okay, <clears throat> lip liner on. Yes, my link is right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Everything's available there. Okay, I, what are you doing? Oh, it's an eyelash. You know like when your eyelashes like get twisted and it's like facing the wrong way? You can see it. That's what's happening here. All right. So if you get eye mascara on your eyelids, the tip for you is to look down, like have a mirror angle down. So that way your lashes are pulled away from your eyes. Um, that's the best tip I have for you. And if you do get it on your eyelids or your face or wherever, just let it dry. And then you could like pick it off using a, um, where'd it go? Using the swivel end of a brow pencil. Um, no, this month's kudos is amazing. You can pick the shades. You don't have to get the purple mascara or the limited edition colors. You can pick. So you can grab this one. This is the shade Sumptuous, right? Yeah, Sumptuous in the Splash Liquid Lipstick. And start in the middle of your lips. And we're going to throw this on. And the liquid lipsticks are matte, but they're not pulling. Like, they're not going to dry and, like, crack and peel they're super hydrating, especially for a matte lipstick. Yes, Erica, I will message you back as soon as I get off. Make sure you shoot me a message though because the comments get a little crazy, so I can never find your guys' comments in here. So make sure you message me. All right, so I just take it all the way to the lip liner. And the key with the Slash Like a Lip 6 is less is more. Apply it really thinly and it will last even longer throughout the day. I know I love this one. So pretty. It's like the perfect pink. And I like it because it's so hydrating for my dry pore lips. Unless you have <laughs> peeling lips. Okay. So we good. So that was Sumptuous in the liquid lipsticks. How's the cotton candy splash lipstick? So this one I think is described as cotton candy. Yay! Oh my gosh, you'll love it. 
So a good nude for paler skin would be uh, the liquid lipstick in the shade Sympathetic. That one's so good. Okay, so now I'm actually going to pop another liquid lipstick in the middle to kind of mute the pink and give it kind of a more of an ombre effect. So I'm going to go in with the shade Sparkling in our liquid lipstick again, and we're going to pop this in the center of our lips and kind of blend it out. I've never done this before, so we'll see. <laughs> the center of the lips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. This looks real good. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Mm, I love it. That is sparkling liquid lipstick. Yeah, Unique has a really good lip scrub as well. I think I have it right here. Should have used it. That would have been a good idea. No, oh, maybe I don't have it right there. Um, yeah, we have a sugar lip scrub as well. It's way better than the e.l.f. one. Ours actually stays intact. The e.l.f. one like breaks off and <gasps> it's gross. Okay, so now we're gonna set everything. So now I'm gonna take the Touch Bold Setting Spray and we're gonna seal up everything. No, I go like hog wild with this because this is going to take away the makeup or yeah, like the makeup -y look, the powdery look. It's going to make everything look flawless. It looks wet right now, but it dries matte. It's not pulling. It's going to help your lipstick stay in place. It's going to help your eyelashes stay in place, everything intact. And it really just like porcelain dolls everything out. Yes, the lip scrub will be under lips. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so this is the full look. I love it. It's not like your traditional like Thanksgiving day look, but this I definitely would would be so perfect for Thanksgiving. I might do this myself on Thanksgiving. Um, no, it's not that peachy actually. Here, let me see if I have it right here. If sympathetic is too peachy for you, then sublime might be a better option. So here I'll swatch it. So here's Sympathetic, and then I'll compare it to, is this Sublime? Yeah. And then here's Sublime next to it. So, where's the camera? So this is Sublime, and that's Sympathetic. So maybe that'll help you. And then let me show you Sparkling next to that. Sparkling. Sparkling is like my new favorite. This one is going to be peachy. So you wouldn't like this one. But yes, the makeup is all hyperallergenic, made for sensitive skin. Everything has a love it guarantee. Um, so you can return anything if you don't love it. What's this one? Sympathetic. And I think this one is stellar. We'll just do all the swatches for you guys. Stellar. I think I did this one already. Nope. Is that one sparkling? Is this one? Yeah, that one's sympathetic. Okay, sorry. All right, there's all of our nude liquid lipsticks. So Sublime, Sympathetic, Sparkling, and Stellar. Those are all of the nude shades. So I hope you guys enjoyed that that was an unplanned swatch <laughs> yeah so, uh stellar is so good i love that one so much all right cool so that was the look i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you shoot me a message if you need to be color matched or you guys have any questions um or you need help picking out any makeup i would love to help you guys so summary i did addiction palette four on my eyes i have on sumptuous and sparkling splash liquid lipsticks which are part of this kudo so make sure you snag that um and then on my face we did the bb flawless complexion enhancer with our uh skin perfecting concealer on our under eye and then we set it with our touch behold setting powder and the press powder for full coverage and yeah that was it i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you shoot me a message if you guys have any questions click that share button in the bottom left hand corner and then if you want to catch these uh few 
want to make sure that you don't miss out on the tutorials, whether they're makeup or hair, um, you can subscribe, or not subscribe, but turn notifications on. <laughs> Up here, three dots, click there, and then uh, turn on live notifications. And that way, Facebook will alert you when I go live. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you over on Instagram. Raya Hope is my name over there, and I'll give you guys the outfit breakdown of the day. So see you guys over there. See, uh, Touch Behold Setting Spray. What's the spray? Touch Behold Setting Spray. Everything I used is right here, rayhopebeauty.com. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful Wednesday.